joining us right now, one of the newest additions to the Laker roster, Patrick Beverly, joining Pat us here on the Travis and Slewa Show. Pat Bev, welcome to have you on the show. Appreciate hey you coming by. Oh, we're excited to talk to Pat Bev. Absolutely. Wait, wait, I don't know why. The Is vibe that, just changed. That Everything belt. changed. What are you asking? Yeah. Can I hold that belt? Yeah, so yeah, you, want, you want the championship belt? Bring him the title belt. I've never, I've never like... I've never had a, uh, no, it's a, it's a wrestling belt. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, do you yeah, want to be a, a boxer no or a wrestler? No one's taking like, it away from What are you, what are you doing? Well, I like uh, Stone Cold was my favorite growing up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Get we, him a couple of Coors Light. Yeah, we couldn't. Uh, the cans together. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't really afford it. So, we, you know, mom's got me to pay-per-view when it was needed. So <laughs> yes. Appreciate those times. It's hard. It's yeah, so hard. that's not bad. So, yeah, you hard. know, look, you've got a, a, a style. You've got a reputation that uh-huh. is a little WWE. Yeah, I heard. Right? Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> so, did, did you steal from Stone Cold? Like, yeah. where, do you, where do you find some of this stuff? Uh, I guess the streets of Chicago, unfortunately. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Upbringing. But, no, uh, you know, my style is very different. But, uh, you know, it's a hundred ways to skin a cat or make Kool-Aid. So, you know, I guess mine is just one of the different ways. It's funny, Pat Bev, last year, I can't tell you how many times we talked about this Lakers team and said they're missing something. There's a player, and I'm describing you. You know, there's the way you've made a name for yourself in the league. Everywhere you've gone, um, either people love you or they hate you. And usually they hate you because you're on the opposing team. Um, it, it seems like it seems like you have a perfect fit on this Lakers team. Can you just describe training camp, preseason, regular season starts? What Pat, Patrick Beverly bring to the Lakers? I'm, I, I'm, it's simple. I impact winning. You know, some nights it might be a corner three, some nights it might be a charge, some nights it might be a you know game saving rebound, sometimes it might be a steal, sometimes it might be me slapping my teammate on the butt. Let, let's go, like you know, or me chest bumping the coach. I, I impact winning on the highest level, and you know. For me to do that at the, you know, you know, the height I am, the size I am, you don't see that a lot. So when it comes to bringing the things that you're talking about, the edge, the the – oh, We call it – me and the homies, we call it the it factor. The it factor. Yeah. Okay, let's call it that, the it factor. Are there nights, Pat, where, you know, I don't want to do it tonight. Never. Never. Ever. Never one time. With basketball, never. Maybe, I don't know. I might fall asleep on my son if I want to watch Spider-Man. <laughs> I might, you know, my girl want to watch a TV show that I might, you know, sell an OC or something. I, you know, I might fall asleep. But with the game of basketball, no. It has never let me down, so I can't let it down. Can you, Patrick Bradley, take some time to join us here on Travis and Sleeper Show. Can you talk a little bit about this roster? Um, obviously, there were really, really high expectations last year. Yeah. And this year, this is a team that was 16 games below 500. Of course, Anthony Davis misses a ton of games. Braun misses a ton of games. Yeah. Um, what are your expectations as you get a chance to play with Braun and Anthony Davis and Russ and obviously what you bring to the table and all these other role players? What what are you hoping for? What are some of your expectations? Obviously, make the playoffs, I, right? You know, I didn't come over here for you know, to to be re- rebuilding. You know, that's why I was fortunate to uh, you know kind of leave Utah. But uh, um, yeah, we got to win and when. And, and with winning, a lot of people don't understand. With winning comes a lot. Like, you know, your will. Are you willing enough to sacrifice? Are you willing enough to play hard? Like, you know, let's not talk about – if we play hard and we rebound the ball and we do that, you know, we're focused and, 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 and we do all the small things. We can do those every day. We end up in the playoffs. And when you get to the playoffs, you got three guys. Like, you know, playoffs, all matchups. You get to the playoffs, you got three guys who will match up nightmares for everyone in the league, you know, from the point guard position to the – you know, you know, the wing position to, you know, the center. So, uh, you know, we got matchup problem. It's just, we just need to get there. Patrick Beverly joining us here on 710 ESPN. It's been well documented, your relationship with Russell Westbrook. When you yeah. come over and you join him as a uh-huh. teammate for the first time, does it take a minute? No. Nah. Do, do you have to have a conversation first or do you just dive right into it? Actually, if, we, if it, I've, I've been here, I don't know, three, three weeks, four weeks, and if I had to pick a best friend right now, it would be him. Mm. And we lift weights together. Uh, we joke around together. Uh, you know, he opens up a store in L.A. I hit him, hey, man, why you didn't tell me? Why didn't, why didn't you tell me about you opening a store? You know, so uh, if it was one person, I feel like, you know, one of my good friends on the team would be him. Is Hands it down. because you guys are cut from the same cloth that you guys play with incredible energy and ferocity? And it's just that when you're on opposite teams, those two things are going to go exactly, like this? That's exactly what it is. Yeah. And obviously, you know, the, the, the you know, how my career started. And you know, and you know, and with the with you know with the injury and all that, so obviously that that magnifies it. So every time we do play, but when you do have those guys who uh, you know impact winning, they just want to win. They just want to you know they just want to battle. They just want to seek destroy. You have those two guys going at it. Obviously, it's good news for the media. But when you get on the same team, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a perfect match. You know, I was surprised uh, when you were walking over here. Travis whispered, he said, he can't guard me. What do you, 
Pat Bev, I don't, you know, I don't want to start anything I don't here. Want to start anything. Where's a ball? Just, Let's go. Somebody give me a ball. <laughs> Somebody give me a ball. Check ball. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. He picked up the ball. Hey, too. Right. He it up. No, I was no, kidding. Get that out of here. That's yeah. the last thing we want to see. That's Love the last it. No, Love he's that. got a crazy crossover. That's the only reason why I mentioned it. Um, we are we're excited. I'm sure a lot of Laker fans are very excited to have yeah. you a part of the Lakers organization. They used to hate me. Uh, sure. By the way, that I am I wrong on this? Is that a compliment to you? Of course. When other when other teams and franchises and fans. Of course. I mean, how how easy is some for you? You know, me and you to be at a baseball game. We drinking beers. You know, you hear something. We looking at each other doing this. But how hard is it to say, "Hey, you hold on." Fool. You know that. You know. You <laughs> know a lot of energy work. that takes. I, that's a lot of work. Yeah, it does. So yeah, that's respect. Well, you know, it, it's funny, Pat, because I, I think a lot of people say, "I don't care what people." think about me yeah. I mean, a lot of people say it i think very very few people and that's so believe true it. that is so true i think you believe it. yeah every day <laughs> am i right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's entertaining almost yeah <laughs> it, and is it to just go back to when you were a kid is yeah. this just something you've always been comfortable with parenting yeah. yeah everything involves you know when you get adult and all that it's all parenting my mom and my grandma did a good job of you know you you know you have a light don't be shy of it and let it shine and fortunately i've been, been able to let it shine i've been Playing professionally 14 years. This is my 11th year. I'm with a team that first drafted me and with a player who I, you know, was my first main idol with the Miami Heat, and we're on the same thing. So I guess, you know, I'm on the right road in life. We're looking forward to it, Pat Beth. Thank you for taking the Always, time. Always, man. Good to see All you right, guys. Man. Thank you, you too. guys. So you much. as well. Thanks, Good luck Appreciate on your show, too. Appreciate Just take, it. take oh, thank you. So you. This is yours. Nah. You own it. Yeah. <laughs> you should wear that in the first game. <laughs> when you guys go up to Golden State, you should have that around you your waist. You're kicking me out of the arena. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it down. All right. There's Patrick Beverly.